Hi guys, so today I thought I would talk you through my photography portfolio that I took to university interviews and a few little tips on interviews because I think I would have found this quite helpful. I don't know if I found anything on YouTube when, when I went last year or if I even thought to look but I just thought this might be something helpful to some people or you might just want to have a little nose at my photography portfolio that I took to interviews. So this is specifically for photography and BA photography courses. Obviously if you were doing a different course I would hope that you specifically tailored it to whatever course you were doing. Yeah this is specifically for applying to BA photography and that's what my portfolio is but obviously just look at it as a portfolio of your work. The type of stuff that you want to show. I would presume that it's kind of on the same basis of like work but obviously this is just specific to what I took with me and usually universities will send you like a list of what they want to see so just make sure that you have everything on that list because otherwise they're gonna be like do you have blah 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 to show us and if you don't then it doesn't look very good so as you know i am now at university so my interviews paid off I'm here, so if that's anything to go by, like, I'm here, so I did something right. <laughs> so I only went to four of my five interviews, I didn't go to all five just because it was a university that I, I don't think I'd visited, didn't actually know what it was like, and I also just knew that I didn't want to go there because I'd already had four other interviews in other places and had offers from them, and I knew that I wanted to come here to Falmouth. But you can actually go to like one or two interviews or just one, or you can go to all of them, it's really just up to you on what you want to do. but this is my photography portfolio the stuff that I took to interviews and some helpful tips that hopefully will be helpful so as I said they will send you a list of the things that they want to see so with me two of the universities wanted to see an online portfolio and then they would make a decision that way if they wanted to see you in person in interview so obviously I did that and I did that through Flickr they asked for 20 photos so I did it was either five projects with four photos or four projects with five photos and then they also asked to see an example of an essay something based on photography something that you've written so I just sent them an artist analysis that I'd done of an artist and I just sent that to them because they just want to see an example of your writing to see that you can read write and spell and you know use punctuation and grammar like that's literally all they want to see they just want to know if if they took you on if you would need any additional help with that sort of thing and they're totally cool about that and there's so many people at university to help you with that sort of thing anyway so that's really cool and all they want to see is current work and progression in your work to show that you can develop projects and work they just want to see like your ability and if they think that you're going to be a good photographer and student to take on the course and make it your own if that makes sense so yes take your best work and I think the best thing to do is go through your portfolio with your photog current photography teacher at college or something but yeah they just want to see your potential what potential you have to their course and their university to begin with in like the first interview I was quite like scared and I, I know I was nervous for all of them because I'm just nervous when talking to people I, I don't know anyway after like the first two it was quite easy like all they want to do is sit down look through your work and talk to you about it ask you questions about it and it's your work so you should be able to answer them pretty easily so with your photographs you want to print them in the best quality possible so I printed mine on the inkjet printer at college it cost me an absolute bomb to print but they looked really really good quality and so I'll show you in an overlay now I basically printed all of the images just on a4 size but then I mounted them onto black card in either pairs or three images and obviously matched them by what the photo was of so whether, whether it was architecture two landscape photos together and then or two portrait photos together or three depending on how many and then I just took all those and they were basically on big black card I think it was a2 and then I took a really smart black portfolio folder with those in and then I also took sketchbooks because they want to see your work in progress they want to see your how you can develop a project take an idea and develop it try different things and then get a final image so it's basically should be what you're doing at a level if you do a level so I took with me two sketchbooks. I took with me my first year sketchbook from college and my second year one. Well, one of them. 
which was the current project, the one I'd literally just finished because I found that that was my favourite <laughs> personally but it was also I think my better work then. So I took that so I could be like this is what I've currently been working on and I could really talk about that more and then the other one was just to show a variety of work. It kind of works differently in different interviews. Some interviews they will literally take your work away from you while you're sort of in the like waiting area. They'll take your work they'll look through it themselves and then they'll ask you in and they'll have like the pages open like, in your books and they'll like ask you to talk about those certain things and others will literally say right get your work out and you get it out and you have to go through it and talk about it everything you do it's like why have you done it what are you trying to show and so I would just be prepared with every piece of work to definitely have sort of those two questions down and then along with the big prints I also took I had four photographs that were architecture work and they were printed onto foam board and I just took those they were literally a4 size there were four of them and it was just to show them and I literally just wanted to take those images to show them like a different format of uh, mounting my images it was something a little bit different because it was like on foam board and that was also used in exhibitions so I was like oh we had you know had a little exhibition at college and you know those are the things sometimes I didn't even get those out they were just in the folder anyway and it's just something else to show them so if you've got anything any projects that you've done like quirky things with that's really cool I found that that's my architecture project because I like made a model but I didn't take that with me but I took photos of it in the sketchbook so that was fine but other people did take those things and that's cool you know it makes you stand out a little bit more if you've got like something a bit quirky with you it's not a requirement I would also say before the interview read over your personal statement that you sent them because that way if they spring any questions on you about that you remember what you wrote so that you say something similar I found that was also quite calming cringe but be yourself honestly I went to one of them and honestly I was just sat there chatting with the usually with the photography interviews it will be a, like a lecturer and then a student and yeah just chat just be yourself you know be the best version of yourself that's all you can all you can hope for and you should get there the interview is really just they want to get to know you and see your work that is the main thing they just want to see you <laughs> really they just want to yeah chat and get to know you also be professional they don't ask you to dress like super smart but just think casual smart yeah just make your work look professional and you're pretty much sorted that's all i've got to say hopefully this was helpful i know interviews are around now some of you have probably already had them good luck you'll do fine i made it so so can you and i'll see you in a new video very soon bye